What is up, you guys? This is the Wire Rabbit, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Now, I have no idea why, but for some odd reason, Marston was not in his poncho whenever I loaded in. So I had to put that on him. Uh, where's my horse? Here's my horse. Come on, horse. Let's go. We're going out of here and going to the rebels. Because I don't really like the way things are going here. Uh, do I still have my gun? That is my main question. Semi-automatic shotgun. <laughs> By semi-automatic, it means completely automatic. I have no idea why it's even classified as semi-automatic, but that is the deal we are working with. Because, well, I'll show you if I find some animals that are attacking my horse if that happens. Because it's where to be most... In uh, you know what? I'll just fire at this guy. Come here. No. Nope. Give me the gun. Yeah. Does that seem semi-automatic to any of you? Because that seems very fully automatic to me. Well, I guess I still have to pull the trigger. But... Beyond that, that gun fires a lot. Let's go. And you know what? I'm I'm here for it. Out of my way. I have rebel nonsense to deal with. Would they be rebels? I feel like they wouldn't be rebels. Well, I do and I don't feel like they would be rebels because they're fighting for what they believe in and they believe they are doing what's best for their country and the government supposedly is doing what's best for their country so I guess it's just because they disagree in what's best for the country and the government being the government Anyone who opposes them is automatically a rebel and is treasonous. Which is very stupid. Couldn't they have reached a very civil understanding rather than trying to kill each other? Let me rephrase. Rather than having me try to kill all of them? Because that would save John Marston a lot of time. It honestly would. John Marston and this horse are doing enough to the wildlife <laughs> and this country. It's good grief. If it's not dang wolves, it's dang people trying to rob me. People robbing other people. And I, I am, I'm just not here for it. No. What am I going to do? Let's go. John seems to have a heart of gold. Even though he's technically here to kill his ex-gang mates. I, I don't know. There's a fine line that's being crossed here and I'm not sure what side I'm on. What I do know is somehow I've managed to keep talking for this entire dang ride out here, and I'm still going. I'm I'm still riding. Hello, horses. I think that's the plural for horse, isn't it? Horses? I swear, if someone tells me it's horse eye, that just sounds ridiculous. I don't know. I kind of wanted to see what was chasing me. But... No. Oh! Is that where you live? It's actually a nice place. I'm sorry, does that say I have a house here? Agave... Viejo. Does that say I have a house here? No, I have a house in the next town. All right, that's fine. Reyes. Oh 
Sup? The Great Mexican Train Robbery. Why does it look like I have throwing knives? Do I get throwing knives? I love throwing knives. Can I use my dead eye with the throwing knives? Give me my stuff back. Oh, they didn't take it. Term bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. <laughs> a man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free. Libre Mexico. Libre Mexico. Right. Sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Yep. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I knew I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it. Or my people. Well, sure. Exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you. Don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. All right then. Where am I going? Where are you taking me, Reyes? You must tell me more, John. Are my what? sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. Hmm? We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. <laughs> You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. Yeah. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very... Oh, watch what you're writing. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes... You'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your <laughs> friends, I promise. Just give me time. Dude, I've given everyone who's promised me these two guys so how did you meet ample time. We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. <laughs> Not quite. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. So I've heard about Red Dead Redemption 2. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico is set. Carajo, cuidado, John. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and the great. All right, my friend, we are running out of time. Well, I'm trying, but you're going very slow. 
Dude, you are going exponentially slow. I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. <laughs> it is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who feeds his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a very specific example, Abraham. Es una yeah. How do you say, a uh, uh, Pope, everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America, they told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks <laughs> about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Fair enough. <laughs> I see a train. Is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that licks his feet and makes him feel loved. If he has Allende to eat the shit out of his pulo, Allende will do it. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez isn't stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the... Mierda, you're slowing us down, Mark Tom. Dude, we're not even going anywhere. These vicious idiots like Allende. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. The Which train's the right train there. so important. I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. The train was right there. Gentlemen. supplies we need but it's also filled with government troops we set up a very loud distraction you can board the train and then you can disconnect the army car huh okay okay but listen we got to get this done before the train runs out of the station you make it sound so easy <laughs> well did i not promise you fun times amigo huh? Me. there are too many soldiers we must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Right. <laughs> Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, young. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, young. Perfect. And then that did not work. Get on the dang train. Get up. Get on the train. Take out the guards. Okay, that should be easy. And... Whoop! Poosh! Perfect. And detached train car. Beautiful. Beautiful. What, do I have to deal with the rest of them now? Maybe. Possibly. Uh, take control of the Gatling. Not another Gatling gun section. I hate the Gatling gun. Don't ask me why I hate the Gatling gun section. I just do. Amos. 
Come on. Jeebus, this is a lot of people. And no one's on the Gatling gun. That leaves him. Who else? Gentlemen. Let's have a nice little talk. Shall we? Come on. Oh, nope, I need back on this train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take control of the engine car. Why am I doing this? Pull the brake lever to steal the train. I mean, sure, why not? Pull the brake lever, go! I mean, that's, that's a whole train. Also, I apologize if there's barking heard in the back. We are currently in the midst of kennel training <laughs> our new puppy. I, I may show the puppy eventually in a later video. I haven't decided yet if that's something I want to do. Is there going to be guns in it? Plant the dynamite. Excuse me. <laughs> I need to be on this train again. Whee! Plant dynamite. Um... That's not safe enough. My ears. Let's hope so. Maybe there's more men in here. <laughs> there was more men in here. Can I have this? Doesn't really matter. I'm taking it anyway. What's in here? Nope. Let me crack the safe. Okay. Uh, move to find the right number of the combination. If the dial moved in the opposite direction, you may start over. Okay. Okay, 40. Okay. Right there. What do we got? A whole lot of nothing. Or is this money? Money in a letter. What's in the letter? Perhaps that is something... That's a gun. <laughs> I mean, he did say take whatever I want. That's $200. Return to Reyes. But what gun was that? 
What gun? Is that this? Looked like it. Is it? You assaulted a wagon horse. <laughs> How far back did that set me? Oh, Lord. Oh, come on, man. I did that to be funny. Okay, what was it? 40, 15, 55? I, I forget. Was it 40, 15, 55? Did it change? Oh, it did. 20. Uh, <laughs> what is it? 20, 75? No, it's 20, 80. It's 20, 80, 50. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this already. <laughs> I was stupid and shot the dang thing. <laughs> Hooey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great day. Tis a fabulous day. I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Esquela are holed up. Yep. All in good time, Everyone has told I me that. Deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Better be soon. Ah. <sighs> Well, at least, I don't know who to trust. Because the army dude's already thinking I'm dead. Um, what house am I close to? Yeah, I'm right here. Come on. Let's go. We're just right here anyway. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, there's a thing I didn't do over here. That I completely forgot about. Hi! <laughs> I broke your pots! <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Excuse me, I have to deal with a douchebag around this house. Yep, and this is the douchebag. Friend? Take the damn money, bastard. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are you going to do now? I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me. Mm -hmm. And he's gone. You know what? Let's see if we can find him. Let's see. Now! Dude! This is just dumb nonsense. Let's 
What's up? Gentlemen. I dealt with it. Go on about your business. Go on about your business. Ain't nothing to do with any of you. Howdy. Right. Is this going to give me ammo? Revolver ammo. Alright. Well, I'm going to leave this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, you know what to do. Keep things crazy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>